Hi guys, Jar of Bricks here. This time I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of my city. I did one of these back in January, um, but I've made so many changes to my city since then. Uh, you could probably see them right here. None of this was here when I did my overview in January. So uh, I think a walkthrough is due. I'll be starting here by the docks and working me way around the city so hope you enjoy it oh, let's begin so to begin this walkthrough we're going to start at the docks uh, here you can see the container ship uh, I actually got that container ship I found it in a local charity shop uh, it wasn't in great condition um, but there you go um, with the crane and there's not much change to the actual original set other than the, the tower here and also um, I built the smaller jetty for the smaller boats I haven't got many smaller boats to go there yet so that's something I want to add to it um, but yeah it's quite a simple build there's not much changing not much mocking to that, that I did to it when I first bought it it's just to give the whole city a little bit more character and depth by giving it a docks so let me take you over to the main docks so coming over to the main docks has been a lot going on here i've built that wall across the front i've probably built about six or seven more containers in there just to fill it up i've borrowed the crane off there which i will show you where that is later uh, given this this light here that isn't lit by the way uh, a few extra details with boxes pallets a few workers and things it's not completed on the tiling front so I've got a delivery coming from uh, the online pick a brick wall uh, but it says it'll take 10 to 15 days to get here for some reason so I'm waiting uh, on that and then just coming around here, we've got the factory, uh, Ace Chemicals. Um, one of the changes I've done to Ace Chemicals is I've put an extra floor on it, uh, just to make it, well, taller, uh, which I think has um, added to it. I thought it was a little bit small before. I do need to change that because it's on two, or two or three separate, um, uh, base plates but the actual plate not the base plate so it's uh, the size of um, a plate uh, not a base plate I hope that makes sense um, as a result anyway it's roughly about 32 studs wide um, so it just it's made it a bit awkward uh, down there next to the car showroom um, but that's something I'm thinking about taking it up redoing it onto a 32 by 32 base plate so let's move down the street it's a bit dark down this side of the uh, city so I do apologize uh, here's my latest mock my car showroom I've had many suggestions on how to improve it one of which I think is a brilliant idea is to put a car wash in it so the car wash is either going to go in that space there or I'm going to move the car showroom over and put it in there between the car wash and the tuning workshop uh, which those two are my latest mocks so if you haven't seen those videos they are about three or four videos back now because I've done a few hauls as well so take a look at it if you want here we've got our um, Joe's garage. So that's taken from the garage corner and I've just made it into um, a mock of my own. I like the petrol station, but the annoying thing is it's made the other Octan petrol station obsolete. So that's just under my desk doing nothing at the moment, but I'm sure I will integrate it into it pretty soon. Moving down. We've got the townhouse from the Birch Books. That is my only official Lego set that I have in this city. Uh, so that is going to be getting dismantled soon. I've been buying some um, 
of that teal color brick or turquoise, whatever it is, uh, from Bricklink. So I got quite a few extra bricks to do something with it. Um, but I'll be honest, I'm struggling uh, to think of a building that has that color and why it would have that color. So um, it's been there, it's probably my longest time. I've had a modular in my city, but it will be going. Then it's just a little mini mock. There's no details on the inside. It's supposed to replicate some kind of little office building, like a insurance company or accountants, you know, someone who is really boring and belongs in a gray building. Then we go over to our tool shop. This is one of my early mocks. Um, not too sure about the color scheme. I think it looks like a toy shop colors. And uh, I don't know about the black, white, black, white repeated there. I think it looks a bit daft, but it's one of my oldest mocks. So eventually it will go. But at this moment in time, it's staying. I'm just going to change my angle because my hands are starting to shake from this angle. So one second. So this is my clock shop. It's a bit of a, a strange sized build. It's uh, just on base plates, uh, but I was trying to fit it around the window style here and here, and also uh, this feature on the roof. The style that I took this from is from this book. It's a great book, the Lego Neighborhood book. And as you can see, this, it's similar to the shop windows there as it is to there. So I just uh, took a little bit of inspiration from that. So just to change the angle from this one so you can see the writing, the, that is my gym. So I've just um, took a lot of the elements from the diner in there because they had the boxing gym uh, in there. So that's what's uh, on the insides of that one. Then we have the pool house and Ace Brickman's detective office up upstairs, taken from the detective office modular. Uh, that is something that I want to completely destroy and rebuild because although it's uh, remocked, it's not my mock. And that's what I like to have in my city where they're just, just unique, something that's um, not just been an another set being rehashed I like to try and make it completely my own so it's going to be going I have to just get, take my camera off the tripod for a second to go in here because I have to lean over so this is my little market square here in the road and I wanted it to look older with little mini modulars so uh, I made all these with um, the fishing stands. There's a cafe at the bottom. That was all tiled, but as I've run out of tiles for the docks, I've started to raid them from there. So uh, that's the rug shop. And then we've got the uh, shrimp shack, the fishing hut, which takes you down to the uh, river. And that brings you back to the market, which then takes you to the bridge. So uh, I wanted to build a bit more of a unique bridge. Yes, of course, it's from the um, Spider-Man bridge um, battle, but I just wanted to make it look a little bit unique. So I tried to base it a little bit loosely on um, uh, I was going to say London Bridge, but it's not London Bridge. I forget what it's called. Elizabeth? No, no, it's gone. Anyway, moving on. So uh, I've changed my lighthouse slightly. So what I've done here is I've just changed the rockery. And the lighthouse is still the same as it was. So let me, oh, excuse me, I've got my wire stuck. The rocks there are taken from the hidden side so i've just put the rocks over just to make it look a little bit more 
detailed as a skeleton that's fallen over there this whole side does need to be lifted and fixed because as you can see the train bridge has disconnected on all of the um, pillars I have got support pillars underneath as you can see there but the reason is is I had um, this whole section here when I when I made it um, the wood that I had only went to about where the uh, lighthouse is now and I ran out so I just put plasterboard there and over time the plasterboard has just bowed so the panels sorry the um, base plates have disconnected so the bridge just starts to drop and when the train goes over it it all feels like it's going to fall apart but so I need to address that soon which I will then we move over the bridge to the main side of the city to the museum so this is based on the Lego museum set from approximately 2012 uh, it was just uh, had two pillars and uh, one ground floor and it had the open back so uh, it wasn't much detail in it at all so just made it into a modular this is probably one of my earliest modulars I was trying to think my police station was the first one I think I think this is not long behind it uh, it's not on a 32 by 32 base plate it's about 26 by 32 I think just on plates rather than a base plate um, possibly putting it on a base plate is something I'm going to do in the future I don't know but there you go so yeah, that's the museum uh, just as a reminder it's all detailed on the inside and if you want to see some of the inside and some of the artifacts we've got at the museum uh, just go on to the mod mox playlist and you'll find it in there so you notice there's a space here and this is um, because I did have Peppy's pizza but I recently moved it I think it will be going back there I just wanted to trial it somewhere else which I will get to in a bit uh, it does need to be a 32 by 16 base plate because of the train track uh, or some kind of alternative with plates or maybe a cut plate but I'm trying not to cut plates anymore because I'm finding it annoying having lots of bits everywhere anyway um, so yeah there is going to be a build there in the near future so over to the bank I was at um, Lego shop in Manchester and on the pick a brick wall uh, there was loads of these olive green profile bricks so I filled a bucket bucket and a half actually um, of those so I had a few left over for various builds which I've used so this is one of them I think it's a quite a unique color as I've said before I think the profile brick is one of my favorite bricks I think it gives so much character to a building rather than just the flat surface and uh, just wish Lego would do it in a few more colors they do tend to do it only in the pastel type colors um, so uh, we've got, got a good selection of them but I think they've actually stopped making this uh, olive green uh, not 100% sure on that but it's not for sale on the online pick a brick wall anymore uh, so possibly they have let me know in the comments if you know if they have stopped that color or it's just a temporary thing but I really like it I think it's a quite a unique color and I like the bank here I think this is a quite a unique um, style to it uh, little elements that I took from various areas so for example uh, the pillars here um, there's something similar on the Grand Emporium set there so it's, it's not quite like that but it's similar so I took that concept from that and if you look at the white here you've just got um, one by two white bricks and in between the white bricks you've just got a one by two modified plate with the oval edges um, just to give it that little feature I think it looks really smart that was taken from the corner garage set they had them each side of the doors which went upstairs to the vets so I used them there the um, the bank signage was taken from the um, cargo train container 
um, the wings of the sign there they were taken from the brink brick bank uh, just not with all of the other fancy bits and the green and um, uh, transparent green and transparent clear um, one by one tiles as well stacked up again they're from the brick bank the details on the inside are taken from the brick bank um, but uh, lots of and the doors as well lots of um, different accumulation of various styles and building techniques which I've just borrowed off uh, different modular sets just to make that unique bank that I think uh, I think it's unique I don't know I can't I haven't found anything like it but maybe you will correct me um, next to it you've got the aquarium um, so I just wanted to utilize the stickers um, from the extra sticker pack that we had last year and there was loads of fish ones in it so that's got in the window you've got lots of stickers there and um, the i think there's a, 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 the first floor i think is um got details but the one above it's just one really 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 tall room um but yeah there you go and last one on this side filming from this side that is is the hideout uh, so that is inside you go through that door and it looks like um, Lego friends set all colorful and flowery um, but in order to get to the next level you have to go around the back to the ladder which takes you to the first floor where the Don is waiting counting his money and there's a bit of like a safe at the top floor there uh, that was one of very early modules as well i think that might have been about my third or fourth modular um, and when i built it i was struggling for parts i never had enough of one color to finish anything which i found irritating at the time um, and that's why you've got the above above and ab uh, excuse me above and below the window you've got the different colored jumpers black gray black gray and the bits of red in there bits of green the slope sloped roof is white there's a whole hodgepodge of colors there and that was purely because when I started building it I didn't have much Lego I just wanted to make a mock so yeah that's the bad guys hideout now let me shift around so here we have the Grand Hotel I apologize about the angles I'm trying to use as my tripod as much as I can uh, unfortunately I do have a muscle wastage disease which means that if I'm holding the cameras at first angles I'm trying to keep it steady uh, my arms do start to shake uh, so I'm trying to use the tripod so I apologize if I'm not giving you great angles um, but that side of the hotel just looks like this side um, so yeah that's the Grand Hotel and this was a bit of a hodgepodge again uh, using the hotel lego friends set uh, I, it was taken from the lego friends grand hotel and the grand emporium uh, those two sets ripped apart mixed together and i got a few extra gold style bricks just to uh, uh, finish off the effect um, white gold and purple and uh, i think it works very well it's all detailed on the inside um you've got the lobby at the bottom with the lifts um, just i th yeah i think that one has a functioning lift in it if memory serves i can't remember now i think it does it might have a pretend one i can't think um the bedrooms are on the bottom floor well, first floor i uh, think so about three rooms and then the top is the swimming pool sauna and everything like that and on top you've got the Justice League meeting together and then moving over to the fire station I really enjoyed making that last year um, that is from well little bits of the corner garage <clears throat> on the style of the first and second floor same windows brick colors i've put a few profile bricks in there to give it some uh, texture and extra detailing um, and 
1891 sign, which was from the uh, town hall. Um, so just made it into looking a little bit like an old fire station. And then next to it, you've got the uh, updated fire station, which is kind of tagged on as an extension. Um, and uh, that one obviously looks a lot more modern. Uh, on the insides, <coughs> excuse me, you've got it all detailed again. Um, on the first floor, you've got all of the rooms and they link together from the old part to the new part as well. Uh, the call center in the new part, the bedrooms in the old part and you know, so on, so, so forth. Um, so yeah, really pleased with uh, the way that one looked. So here you've got the um, pet shop and that was mainly taken from set 31097 from last year, the creator um, set. And uh, I just wanted a bit more of a modern build. And that's something that I am going to be go doing again in the near future. I quite liked doing the modern build. A lot of the buildings that I have in here are designed to look a little bit older. So I wanted to um, have a few more of them. So I will be putting something similar on again. Um, the elements that it, from the insides are mainly, mainly taken from um, that creator set that came out last year. I only bought one of them. I should have bought two, but I didn't. Uh, so uh, in order to make the extra floor of shutters, I had to put some white ones in it because I didn't have enough red. Um, but as I did it, I really liked the design of it where it was just a white, red, white, white, red. Um, so we're uh, really pleased with the way it turned out. And then on the corner here, you've got the jewelry shop. Uh, that was um, from the Lego Batman set. Um, what's the name? Catwoman Heist. Uh, so just turned that into a little mini modular. That, those are on two plates, uh, 216 by 32 base plates. So they can come out and not be together. Um, I don't think the insides of the jewelry shop are completed. Uh, so, yeah, the, the way I designed it is uh, a little bit of a strange design. So on the side here, if you can see from this angle, it's a little bit odd with the bricks, but um, I quite like it. So yeah, that's that corner. Struggling to get this on camera here because it's right in the middle of my city. But again, that's from that um, creator set six, uh, six, no, three, one, zero, six, seven, I think I said it was, um, with the yellow brick. I had to make that small because that is a very unique color of yellow and they don't make much of them. So I was just trying to strain out the gnat, so to speak, um, trying to uh, use all the yellow ones in a way that would create a building. So it is just a uh, yellow at the front. There's nothing on the sides. All of it is gray bricks on the sides, but not the yellow. So moving along in the street. So moving across the road to the six 32 by 32 base plates. Uh, this cafe, which is on the back of the Palace Cinema. Um, this is probably my worst building. I really do not like it. I like the ground floor part, although I think that the shop is a bit, little bit too big for a cafe. Uh, for in my eyes, I think cafes are always small. I think I should be more of a department store being that big. Um, but I had that sign available, so I just shoved it on there. So I think that will change. And I do not like the top off, as I said before. I had um, a ton of one by four profile bricks in uh, medium nugget uh, which I got a ton of them from the pick a brick wall on one of my trips to the Lego shop and I just wanted to use them up and uh, I think it looks rubbish I never liked that plate in the middle that came with um, the Jurassic World something Lockwood Manor um, but I've got I bought two of them so I've got two of those plates that are useless to me um, but I just wanted to have a different style of building and it turns out that it's a rubbish style. So I need to make 
a few changes to that one but the uh, all this these buildings that I've been doing are relatively new so uh, for now it can stay as it is I've got more uh, modulars I want to make beforehand next to it um, there is no um, details on, on that on the inside at all it's just something to fill a gap in it was the last part of this whole section that I needed to do and I think I'd um, lost a bit of my mojo with it to be honest I just couldn't be bothered so I made something quick and that was it and then we've got the Lego shop it's hard to see this one from here so let me try and get a different angle so this is my Lego shop it was supposed to be a replica of the um, one in Leicester Square um, really love love the design uh, the problem is with it being black it doesn't come up on the camera very well uh, all of the extra details uh, it just looks like just one big black dark area um, but you know I'm really pleased with the way that that turned out for this building and again if you want to see some details look at the mock playlist and you'll see it there so this was your bike shop with some bikes for sale in the window as you do in the bike shop uh, with a brick bike at the top moving up to the McDonald's sign at the very top managed to replace those grey pieces that were in that if you remember uh, so this whole section it's supposed to carry on the design of the building up to the brick pizza so these six base plates here that take up this little block this is my lockdown project um, so moving around you've got the shopping market on the ground floor with the extra stickers from the extra sticker pack dotted about the pizza shop these aren't detailed on the inside uh, with the menus on the side bring you around to the palace cinema which is my version of it uh, the elements that I used from it well they're obviously sign which I just changed to uh, horizontal instead of vertical and the little uh, Thing above the doorway as well and then the donut shop which is from the donut shop toy shop set I don't remember what that's called the toy shop down at the bottom and these ones are detailed on the inside and then this is a little uh, square uh, here at the bottom with the fruits market stand and uh, news and drink stand and a wine shop there uh, just recently changed the flooring the base plate was two 16 by 32 base plates but I needed those two base plates so I swapped it for a 32 by 32 base plate and I just changed the tiling as well and put the round studs down to give it a nicer effect so really pleased with the way that turned out so while I'm over in this corner, you'll notice there's some major changes that have gone on in this side. You notice the skate park has gone, the police station has gone. And that is because if you've been following me on Instagram, um, you know that I have decided to entomb the pillar in the middle of my loft. And so I'm just making it into a roof scraper. So um, used already done quite a few uh, pick a brick orders to collect the bricks needed for that. Uh, I've currently ran out of those um, two by one by two by five trans blue window pieces. I can't find anyone that has more than about five, um, and I don't want to pay postage on millions of orders of five when I need about a hundred. 
if not more. I think in that right now is about 70 odd, so probably about 200 I need. Uh, put the crane on the side, that is the one from the train which I said I would come back to. Uh, so I've just put it on the side of the building. Um, normally when you see these type of skyscrapers being built in cities, they have cranes that are on the top floor and they just move it to the top floor as the building grows. Uh, unfortunately I can't do that because there's a pillar in the way so I've just um, tagged it onto the side. It actually looks like Batman's crawler from Justice League movie but it's not. It's a crane. And also Stud Labs I've moved over here and Wayne Tower as well has come over here. I thought it looked quite good all the skyscrapers being together which is what you tend to find in cities like this. Um, and lots and lots of tiling needed. So now you know I've been ordering so many base plates. Uh, I've currently got another two on order as well. Uh, I may have to uh, cut one of them. I don't want to to go there. Currently there's a 16 by 32 base plate there. I might just leave it at that. I don't know yet. That's it, so there's lots of work going on in this particular corner. And then if we move over to the next one along, let me pick up the camera. You can see the um, Lego Friends Central Perk mock. I can't decide where that should go. I just can't decide. I'm thinking possibly where Moe's ice cream and Al's Barber is on the corner there, um, but I'm not sure yet. Um, and of course, the hospital. The hospital is something else, which I'm really pleased with the way it looks, but let me just lean over. Really pleased with the way it looks. I love the style of it. I think it's quite unique, the way it's gone together, although, it's not at the same time because it's red and white and that's what this, this with the slopes at the front that was the style of the hospital in the city set that came out last year um what was it a year before might have been a year before um but it's not on a 32 by 32 base plates and i found over the years when things aren't on a 32 by 32 base plate it causes a bit of a ball ache along the way so i'm thinking about redesigning it and getting it on a 32 by 32 base plate. That's similar to what I did with the police station. My original police station was on a similar sized plate to what was there, uh, which is a cut plate, because before I had this extension to the city, which is behind me where the train station is, you couldn't squeeze the 32 by 32 base plate along that road, so they all had to be cut, and I had buildings designed for that space. Uh, now, I've moved things around and I can. I do need to make a few changes, so that will be one of them that's coming. And I'll look at Al's barber from the other angle, I think. I can't really see it. So coming back over the city. So here we've got Jim's Diner. And um, this is uh, one that I've recently made. I I did the I did the a review of Jim's Diner I think um, as one of my mocks recently, uh, but I haven't I don't think I've shown this bit here. Um, if you, it was it was just a bit of a mess around this area, so I just moved the little pizza stand and brought it over to this side and um, tiled it up, made it look presentable and nice and uh, yeah I think it works quite well next to the pet shop pet shops just a little shop um, using the window from the pet shop that was upstairs on the uh, corner garage and uh, using that sand green I think I said olive green earlier with when I was talking about the bank but it's sand green uh, using the sand green um, plates 
and just to give it a feature I think that that blue whatever is that sand blue I don't know whatever blue that is it goes really well with the sand green tiles and the reason I say it's sand green is because next door the train station that is olive green is which is what I said uh, the other one was before so that is mainly the Parisian restaurant and that's just um, designed that way it's supposed to be uh, an older building uh, like you find with train stations uh, they're old buildings that usually have been modified to make it look a little bit more well modern and that's what I've gone for so that's why the bottom looks nothing like the top half uh, just to make it look like a modern train station that's been re refurbished recently and then next door you know I'm going to move from here actually while I'm here let's look at the train station so here you've got the train and the train station uh, I recently took the roof off because I needed the plates to go on something else and there's all the detail the details underneath I just cannot get the camera close enough if you want to see it more look at the mock I've recently put all the ballast on the train there so you're looking going over the uh, bridge all those one by one tiles uh, have all been going up on there I've done that on the other side as well right the way up to the bridge uh, the only part I haven't done is behind the sky uh, skyscraper section but other than that it's uh, slowly making its way around one area I missed earlier was the chemist there um, it's nothing special um, that is supposed to be a sort of like a Tudor style historic house uh, that's been uh, there for so long and everything else has been built around it and that's why it looks a little bit odd and out of place and uh, the chemist is currently occupied at the bottom and then you got the burger shop I just use the um, sort of like the design of the deli from the creator set two years three years ago uh, color scheme wise I just did that and I just got the burger uh, brick built burger and then you got the cup which brings you around to the apple shop can't really see anything about the apple shop because it's black and um, with the lighter profile brick which brings you back around to here with the sign on the top and then um, this is where I moved Pepe's Pizza let's bring the light round I just want to see what it looked like there I think it will go back to its other location next to the uh, bank I was just trying out some things and you got the uh, skate park here it is going to go over here the skate park but i'm probably going to be putting some kind of uh, mock building where it is now and this will be pushed to here and then there'll be a modular where Beppy's pizza is right now okay so let me just turn around so this brings you back around to the corner built town hall uh, this is using the same bricks that came with the town hall and some extra ones as well and I just wanted to make it into a corner one uh, with President Business commanding from his office and in the office you, he's, he's got a little secret wall with lots of cameras so he can see what everybody's doing um, and he just rules the city from there if we just move along to the next building here I've recently changed and that is uh, just to uh, these windows here I had them in the center as well so just another row like that and like that but right down the middle and uh, looking at it I felt that it was just too much so I took it out 
and just made up this little fancy thing in the front. Um, I think it looks better for it. So I've squeezed that in there. Here, here is the bakery, which is uh, the shop is all detailed on the inside using stickers from the extra sticker pack. And the first and second floor, uh, there's no details on the inside of that. Uh, so yeah, it's just a small building that I wanted to use to fill in the space. And then this moves round this corner. Oh, my roof stops me from getting around here completely. I don't know why there's a tree in the road. But this is assembly square. So you got um, studs, uh, what's it called? Soap and studs, suds, suds and studs, I can't remember. Um, but whatever it is, it's written right there. Uh, and you got this little corner cafe and a flower shop and they were from the assembly square set uh, which i think is a great set especially for parts and i'm going to be ordering as soon as there's another uh, times two uh, vip points i'm going to be ordering a second assembly square just for parts because it is 4p per part uh, so and there's some really nice bits in there they can use on other mocks so looking forward to getting that and we're coming to the final leg of the city so here if we move the tree out of the middle of the road um, we've got two small buildings and these are from um, the sanctum sanctorium set so I just made two um, I can't think what they're called, facades, uh, where they're just a facade. No details on the inside, it was just to fill in a bit of detail over on this side um, to continue the house theme. And I just wanted it to look a little bit old and dated and that's why I'm trying to get it look like there's some tiles slipped off the roof there. Um, yeah, so and that's it, they will be going pretty soon. And this little cafe mock, um, put that together in no time at all. It's rubbish, there's no details on the inside. It just, I think that pillar's just floating there as well. It's, it's just a really poor design and that will be going as well. And this is the new home of the police station. So there was a road tile here. I, I did have the police station facing that way, but it looked rubbish from the side. So, um, I tiled this up and put these, um, what are they, 16 by 8 flat plates that you can get um, there purely because I've run out of tiles. But I think it looks quite nice anyway, it just differentiates the uh, pavement uh, from the road, it's a bit of a drop off point there. Um, so yeah, really pleased with the way it looks. Uh, just set it back enough so it doesn't hit the roof. And then um, I've just put this little building here which was from the uh, Lego Friends Hospital. And, to, and that, that was the hospital until um, the other hospital came out. Uh, this is just a facade, it's got nothing behind it. So that will also will be going shortly and made into something else and that's it i think that's the end of the city tour so if you stuck to the end of this thank you and well done it's going to have been pretty long by the time it finishes so uh, i will end it here thank you for watching let us know if you liked what you saw let us know if you want to see more of videos like this uh, i did one of these at the beginning of the year and um, i felt like i needed to do one now because there's been so many changes that i've been doing recently um, and when i've made quite a number of changes i'll probably do another one again so thank you for watching and goodbye
And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe.